What's going on family? Adam here with a video. Today is Sunday, September the 4th, 2022, and we are watching and waiting, eagerly anticipating the day that trumpet sounds and we meet our Lord and Savior in the air. And family, that day is fastly approaching. So the title for today's video is Biden Official Visits Israel to Push a Two-State Solution. Family, let's get right into this video. Okay, family, this is huge. The push to divide Israel continues. So in the latest move, the United States State Department has sent Assistant Secretary for Eastern Affairs, Barbara Leaf, to the region. And her mission reportedly is to pressure Israel and to fold into the Palestinian Authority. The stated objectives of the trip are to improve the quality of life for the Palestinian people and to inch closer to a two-state solution. So the U.S. State Department Assistant Secretary Leif arrived in Israel on Thursday and met with Israeli officials in Jerusalem and Palestinian officials in Ramallah. Then on Saturday, she visited Jordan to discuss a two-state solution. Now, according to Israeli Channel 13 news correspondent, Leif expressed U.S. fears over the possibility of an escalation in Judea and Samaria. And a security official who took part in the meetings with Leif told Channel 13 News, the Americans are very upset. They are concerned about the number of Palestinian casualties, and also they fear the dynamics in Judea and Samaria, and the increased activities of the IDF will continue. Now, the IDF has been very active in Judea and Samaria in recent weeks. They've been targeting their enemy's infrastructure. They seized large amounts of weapons, and the IDF has engaged countless armed enemies of Israel. The IDF's recent operations were a response to a surge of attacks that cost 19 people their life. They have also detained over 1,200 suspects and have ramped up their operations. This is something Leif has brought up in her diplomatic trip to the region. A two-state solution would create a Palestinian entity inside of Israel, and they would try to make Jerusalem exclusively an Islamic capital, which would contradict God's word. The Bible is very clear who that land belongs to. Now, family, check this out. This past June, Leif was in Israel for the exact same purpose. But this time, negotiations are more complicated because the Biden administration is trying to pursue a deal with Iran concerning their nuclear ambitions. If the Biden administration reaches a deal with Iran, it would permit Iran to pursue with full force nuclear weapons, and it would also remove current sanctions. And it would also infuse Iran's economy with billions of dollars, in which most of it would go to the Islamic Revolutionary Guard, which wouldn't be good for Israel, and it could possibly be what funds the Gog and Magog alliance, but we all know how that ends. Now back to Leif. In her recent trip, Leif reportedly tried to persuade the Palestinians not to pursue a bid at the UN Security Council for full UN membership. And right now, they're on observer status. President Abbas is seeking to start the process immediately after his speech at the UN General Assembly, which begins on September 20th. So family, what we're seeing is a continued push to divide Israel. Family, look for some natural disaster here in the States. When Biden went to Israel a month ago and proposed a two-state solution, what followed was massive storms and a heat wave here in the United States. We actually have a few storms forming in the tropics as we speak. Keep your eyes on them. The Most High God has always had a response when you propose the vision of the land of Israel. I don't expect this time to be any different. Now, family, the word of God in Genesis 12, 2 and 3 says, And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Now, if you ask me, the Most High God right there was very specific about Israel. No U.S. politician, no leader, no prince, no queen, nobody has the right to alter the boundaries that the Most High God established for himself and his people, the nation of Israel. And every last time that a U.S. politician has proposed the vision of the land of Israel, things have happened here in the United States every single last time. The Bible is very specific. I will bless thee that bless thee, and I will curse thee that curseth thee. I mean, it's actually very simple. 
Don't come against Israel. That is the Most High God's land. That's the land he established for himself and his people. But U.S. politicians continue to want to divide the land of Israel, and it never fares well for the United States at all. Family, in my humble opinion, it has never been more apparent we are living in the biblical last days. Everything, and I mean everything, Jesus said would be taking place prior to his return. It's all converged in this generation, the fig tree generation. Family, any second now, Jesus is going to come back for his church. And family, that is why the message of the gospel is so important in these final moments. And as always, my beautiful family, let me close this video out by giving you the gospel of our salvation. Family, the message of the gospel is simple. Man comes along and they try to make the gospel hard. They try to add words to it. They try to twist the gospel. According to scripture, Jesus was born of a virgin and family, Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. Jesus never once sinned. At the age of 30, Jesus started his ministry here on earth. And in three years, Jesus changed the entire world forever. And Jesus did, because here we are, guys, nearly 2,000 years later, still talking about our Jesus. At the age of 33, in the biggest act of love that humanity has ever seen or will ever see, Jesus went on that cross. And guys, Jesus spilled his perfect, innocent blood for the mission of our sins. My sins, your sins, everybody's sins. Family, Jesus did it all on the cross. And the enemy thought he had defeated Jesus when he went to that grave. Because Jesus laid dead for how long, family? For three days, three days, three days. At that third day, he busted that tomb wide open. Hey, no tomb could hold our Messiah. Jesus ascended to go be with the Father. And on this channel, we do know he's coming back for us soon. And family, what is it we're looking for? It's that Titus 2.13, Blessed Hope. And family, world events and Bible prophecy is literally declaring the soon and intimate return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Family, we got to stay in that full armor of God and keep on looking up because Jesus is coming for his church very, very soon. Family, we just got to hang in there a little bit longer because I promise you, our redemption draweth nigh. My beautiful family, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Man, you guys have been such a blessing to me. I love you with all my heart. Thank you for all the love and support. If any of you guys have any prayer requests, please drop them below. Myself or someone from the prayer team would be honored to pray over your prayer requests. There is power in our prayers. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and feel free to share it. Family, it truly helps out a lot and I truly appreciate it. And also, thank you for all the prayers over our trip this weekend, our mission trip. It went very well. We got some bags out. We got to minister to a lot of college students. Man, God is good. If any of you guys feel led to contribute to what we do on this channel, check the description box below. There's ways you can do so. All donations either go to the Bible ministry or to the Watchman Street team. Till next time, Watchman Adam signing out. I love you guys.